Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone out there? Are you guys inspired? We have something exciting today. And for those who have never seen this face, I'm Viviana Puello, CEO of Arthur International Magazine. And today we present ta -da, the start of the week. The start of the week is Derwin Leiva, and I am so excited because we have tried to get this interview going this week. And you know that we have a time difference. Derwin is in Hawaii, so it's really, really early over there. But I'm so honored and so proud to bring him. He is a Cuban artist who's making, making a buzz in the art world with his incredible works a very very unique technique that he has developed and he's gonna say and tell us more about him and you know what i don't want to wait any longer let's get him on the screen <laughs> hey there Wayne. how are you doing good, good how you doing so if you see me looking here it's because i'm doing some producing at the same time let me stop the music there we go so how are you thank you for tuning i'm so excited that you're here I know it's oh, been thank challenging. You for inviting me. Yes, it's a pleasure always being here with you. It's 5:30 a.m. in Hawaii, right? Yes, it's uh, <laughs> 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Yeah. So, what do you usually do at this time of the day? <laughs> well, you know, I I do sometimes wake up this early uh, to paint. Well, actually, most of the day I wake up really early. Um, I guess I'm used to it because uh, I used to be in the military, so I always. Uh, wake up around four or five in the morning and that's usually when I start painting. Oh, wow. Everything is silent and I guess that yes. peace and quiet, right? That's what I like. It's just, you know, I get to concentrate. I don't get distracted. I don't get to do anything else. I mean, there is nothing else to do. All you can do is paint. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I want to share some of your work and let me um, share. We have actually... I have a screen here where I have the website. We are showcasing your art and there you are. And I just love it. I just love it. So that the audience can get to see what your art is all about. Uh, let me put it here. I see a monitor here. So there we go. And there you are. Tell us about your work for those that that would not understand this is a very unique technique you guys who are watching so he's a master artist he has he has started he has mastered it broke it and made it its own <laughs> right yeah uh, yeah well i mean uh you know like you say it's a unique art style and um and part of my work has that cubism inspire yeah I try to, but it also has a surrealistic approach so it's a combination right. of different subjects um i use uh as a base surrealism cubism abstraction and then i have made you know a combination of all these styles and then created my own style um, right and then uh I kind of use a lot of the colors. Uh, you can see the details uh, and the light effects that I use. It's just so uh, to create kind of that bohemian Cuban uh, nightlife and um, and a lot of the architectural landscape and a lot of the uh, the culture uh, from Cuba. You know the music. Uh, yeah. So that's what I try to always bring to my paintings. I love it. I love it. And then, like you say, you are bringing a lot of, I, what I think about, because I'm from the Caribbean, so it's, it's the vibrant energy of the Caribbean, the, the colors, the warmth, right? The music is such an incredible part of our cultures. And I imagine you growing up, how was that? Like, can you tell us the, your experience as as an artist, being exposed to all these elements, music, colors, and all that, how was that childhood of yours? Yes, uh, I mean, growing up in Cuba, music was part of my daily life. I mean, that's uh, something that I grew up with. I saw everywhere. And then the culture is very rich. You, you go everywhere and people dancing, the music. Um, it's something that is part of your daily life. 
I always, uh, you know, I always like drawing. Uh, now, growing up in Cuba, mm, I was kind of limited by the resources because a lot of the times you don't have what you need to to develop your work, you know, like to paint, mm -hmm. to draw. So you always have to, it was a challenge just to find material to uh, to do any of work, you know, just the simple colors or watercolors or anything like that uh, was a challenge just to get the, the the things that you needed. But I always have that in me, you know, like I always wanted to paint. I always was drawing and um, I grew up uh, with the influence of the Cuban culture. And um, that kind of helped me to develop the work that I have now, you know, like I always have this memory of Cuba. Now, I always try to, in a way, you know, uh, it's kind of like a, what I dream of Cuba, you know, because a, a lot of my work is, uh, is very colorful. And obviously, if you go to Cuba, um, you find that in some uh, small towns or some places. But a lot of the other places, the architecture is very uh, destroy, you know, it's mm. kind of like uh, the time hasn't uh, passed, uh, uh, the time has stopped in, in that in a lot of those cities, and uh, it's, it's just time have destroyed everything. And my work, I, I try to reflect the opposite, you know, I just try to bring the happiness and the color. Uh, although that in a lot of places is not there, I always try to bring it in my work. Wow that it's 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 there's a bittersweet um feeling when you're talking right because we're sad about certain things that are so valuable for the identity of people uh and cultures right um disappearing but at the same time you are doing something incredible and i believe that's pretty much the core and mission of the artist is to preserve and document culture and history so that's beautiful what do they tell you what do they tell you um you go to miami there's a lot of there's a big uh community from your country what's the the feedback because i imagine myself like i'm from colombia and i saw my country in your works and that's such joy right what feedback do you get from like your own people from from cuba you know you're right and and it's not only people from cuba like you say uh when i go anywhere uh the feedback that i get from everybody is that everyone can see a little bit of their city uh, of their life in my work because when they look at it right. uh, and they see the architecture uh they they don't just see you know, Cuba, if you're from Colombia, then you still can see the, the street, the colonial architecture, the houses, the, the roof. Uh, those are things that are elements everywhere. You can see in Europe, a lot of that architecture. So I have people that approach me from all part of the, uh, the earth and uh, they give me this, the same feedback that they feel that they're at home, that they feel that part of my painting uh, represent what they, you know, what they believe or where they're from. So uh, that makes it universal. I mean, it's a work, of, it's art that is for everyone. Everybody can enjoy it. And because the music is so important to a lot of people and they always can see it in my work, because that's something that reflects with them, something that they love uh, about my work. And the feedback is amazing. I mean, it's good to see people that they can identify with the work that you do. And uh, it's a type of work that I speak to everyone. Um, so I think this is very important and very satisfying for me as an artist, uh, knowing that what I'm doing, I can communicate with everyone. That that sounds great. Now, let me go back, back, back. And and ask you something that I love to ask artists because I love to hear stories. How, what, how was that? How was you discovering you wanted to be an artist and actually doing it, making it happen? What was your journey? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like I say uh, before, to me, discovering the art was just uh, growing up. You know, I, uh, I used to draw a lot and I used to, you know, I didn't grow up uh, having anything like 
TVs or video games or anything like that, uh, which as a kid, you know, the only form of entertainment that I had was either drawing or reading. I like doing a lot of reading. So uh, I know like when I used to go to uh, with my grandfather, I mean, I, I spent a lot of time with my grandfather in Cuba and uh, he always used to go and make charcoal uh, from different trees. So I always used to go with him because I know when I, uh, you know, when they, he finished the process, I will get a lot of the charcoal to draw. And that's something that I, you know, one of those memories that I always have, because for me, that was like free material. And, uh, and I always used to draw everywhere with those charcoals. That, that was kind of like, like a happy moment for me. And just, I think that um, also helped me continue, you know, doing what I like, just having those memories and having those, uh, the ability to, to do mm -hmm. that. Um, that was part of my formation as an artist. And then uh, once I, you know, grow older, then uh, I always want to pursue a career in art. So I did my bachelor's in painting and then I did my BFA in a sculpture uh, because I want to experiment, you know, not only painting, but uh, uh, different materials and different uh, structures. So oh, I did a little bit of um, photography, uh, glass, I did metal work, uh, woodwork in the sculpture section. And then a lot of the paintings with all the materials, I done watercolor, uh, acrylics, oil paintings. Uh, so I kind of like experimented a little bit with everything. And I guess the creation of all that uh, is what the final product is what you see today, you know, those paintings. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. We have a, a comment here. She says, Darwin, Leiva has a mesmerizing art, so enjo enjoyable for the eyes. We are so happy that you like it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I want to share also, and I was going to, I was going to mention that, that you mentioned sculpture because I discovered this um, sculpture and glass section in your website. And what is this about? Um, well, I, you know, I think the sculpture in a way informed my work as a painter because mm -hmm. the way that I kind of break the pieces and then compose them, uh, I think that's part of me doing a sculpture, you know, because when I'm painting, I'm also thinking as a sculptor. So uh, I think they both communicate with each other. And the same way I'm doing in a sculpture, I'm thinking uh, I'm doing... Yes, I'm working with metal, I'm working with glass, but the same thing, I have that feedback in my mind about painting, and I'm trying to capture that within the sculpture. So I think both work kind of like they talk to each other and they communicate with each other. And I always try to, you know, represent the music one way or another. Yeah, and I can see, I can see the connection. Um, and you guys who are out there, um, it's very interesting because you, deconstruct right constructed deconstructed it's kind of what's happening in your work so that's like a common denominator there on your in your art well this is inspiring <laughs> so tell us where can we find you and for those who are watching we are going to have an incredible documentary based on the life of Darwin Leiva so look for that in the very near future because we're doing a whole documentary you guys are going to be able to enjoy everything but in the meantime because we're in production now if anyone wants to visit your studio or if anybody wants to see your work live where can they go well you know that's something that i have to work on because usually i don't do live video you know i do uh, i do work my studio is at home so uh -huh. uh, actually um you know, I got a big lanai and uh, I keep my studio on, on the open. So I always painting, but I don't do live. Um, I, I'm kind of working on uh, the social media, start putting more of my okay. work, uh, Instagram uh, and my website. But um, yeah, normally I don't work live. <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, it's, I'm not thinking about that. I always, you know, I'm thinking about the work and, and uh, maybe that's something that I should do. You know, I know a lot of people yes. would like to see me working. 
uh, life. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I guess that's something that I have to do in the future. And I know people love it because in Instagram we had such, I put a very brief, I share a brief clip of you when we capture you painting when we're in Miami and they were not with they were not that it, i'm like uh, they have been it have been seen by thousands of people i i have to send you a screenshot you know of the statistics i, I was looking at it this morning and i'm like yeah this is you know they're fascinated so i'm pretty sure that we would love to see more of you like behind the scenes or creating or painting so just yes I, you know I definitely have to work on that. yeah and let us speak because We love it. <laughs> you know, I had a I had a friend yesterday. He came to the to the house and he was looking at my uh, one of my latest work, and he just saw the the underpainting what I'm working on, which is a big piece. It's a five by seven, and um, he just saw the underpainting and he said, "That's it. Don't do anything else." You know, I just right. want you to keep it like that. He's like, <laughs> so he wanted me to do a, a, a piece of work for him and just do the under you know the underpainting, nothing else. He's like, "Don't put any color, just." the drawing like this so i know people enjoy the process people like to see yeah. more of that and uh, you know I'll, i'll find a way to kind of like put more of that into my uh, page and the uh, instagram so people can enjoy that part of the process awesome. awesome we look forward to that well thank you so much darwin thanks for for your time i know it's early but i appreciate you tuning in um incredible art different with a lot of fascinating content yes Oh, yes, thank we you. love it. Thank you, Azucena. Thank you so much. Yes, we're loving his work. And if you guys want to learn more about Darwin, he's on, on Art2 International. The link to his website is there too. So just check him out. Check it out on social media. There's a lot of work that you're going to enjoy. I promise. I promise. It's fascinating. And if you're like me, who likes culture and music and dance, you're going to enjoy it a lot. So thanks, <laughs> Darwin. No, thank you for inviting me, Viana. <laughs> and it's always a pleasure, you know. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time. Right. And.